Assassin's Creed 3 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Assassin's Creed 3. On the last episode, we ran away from the village. We didn't really run away. We were given the opportunity to leave by the clan mother. She said that she had seen a uh, assassin symbol off to the east. Uh, we were able to uh, touch a, a piece of Eden, an apple, get the chance to meet Juno, turn into an eagle, and also maybe speak English. Now we have come over here to this house, and this guy is like, please leave. Please, like, like, I, we can't call the cops because telephones don't exist, but can, like, can you please leave? And Connor's all like, no! So uh, we're spending the second night here. We're going to see what happens. This could be bad. These are square toes. This will be easy. That's what you said last time, and I wound up with a dead horse and a dark eye. Who are you? No one you need concern yourself with, little bridges. Best cut for something bad happens. No. Can't say we didn't warn you. That's all right, I'll kill you. Oh, snap. Ugh. Oh, oh, my God, you got reinforcements. Also, these are the guys that were, like, like hiding out. Oh, I actually got hit. Oh, Lord. I'm doing a lot of countering. And it seems to be working right now. And I'm, I'm just slaughtering massive amounts of people. Which, I'm going to be honest... It's probably my favorite part of the Assassin's Creed series. I like the stories. I like the historical aspects, for sure. But uh, there's something fun about feeling like you can take on tons of dudes. There's a kill. Oh, no, you don't. Get some. Boom. Ow. Tomahawked. Woo. Gotcha. And one for your friend. You want some of this? Ow. Disarmed him. Oh, yeah. Pick it up again, honey. Disarmed him again. Uh, uh. Sliced him up. Why are you here? What do you want? Best to ask the boss, man. Uh. Oh, pleasure meeting you. You working for the old man, then? That it? Maybe this will get you talking. Oh. Bye, Greg. I, you, you didn't have a chance to introduce yourself, so I'm just going to name you Greg. Thank you. Clean this up. Then I suppose we should talk. Man, he's real hobbly. Uh, optional objective. Limit health loss, 50%. Oh, good job, me. Did it even tell me that? If it did, I wasn't paying attention because I was too busy fighting for my life. But now I can talk to the dude. Which is great. That's what I've wanted the whole time. All it took was getting attacked. I think it was briefly raining inside. Nice chair you got. I'll stand. Sorry. Not your fault. This whole place is ready to come down. Goddamn miracle it hasn't already. Anyway, who are you? My name is Rado Hangado. Right. Well, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Now, tell me why you're here. I was told to seek this symbol. Do you even know what that symbol represents? Or what it is you're asking for? No. And yet, here you are. The spirit said that, that I am- These spirits of yours have been harassing the assassins for centuries. Ever since Ezio uncorked the bottle. Ah, but you don't even know what an assassin is, do you? Well, best settled in then. I've got a story to tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. A 
I'll try not to break this chair, too. I'll try. <laughs> I might still break it. And so, this is why the Assassins have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of the Templars. Because if they succeed, your spirit's visions will become reality. Then I will stop them. Oh, I have no doubt you'll try. <sighs> Come on. I have something to show you. Careful. It wasn't a joke when I said this place was coming apart. Achilles is Why a cool name. Why don't you repair it? What's the point? Besides, I don't have materials for the job. So buy them. Well, buy them. You know, I, I could hit fast walk, but it doesn't <laughs> Look help. Look at me. You think I can just march into some store purse full of pounds and go shopping? Yes. Why not? I'm so naive. Oh, this way. oh, that's a cool idea. I like that. Yes. Just a little, a little faster. Just a little bit. It's a little. You know what? It's it's the perfect speed. Thank you. Oh wow. Don't ask, just touch. Huh. But don't think you can just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself an assassin. I, I did not. I, I would never presume... That's all right. I know they've a certain allure. Very well. I'll train you. Then we'll know if you've the right to wear those robes. Thank you. Um... Name's Achilles. Come on, then. We've work to do. You are a speck of dust, a nothing. You and all your kind, living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. What do the Templars want? What they've always wanted, control. They see an opportunity in the colonies, a chance for new beginnings, unfettered by the chaos of the past. This is why they back the British. Here they have a chance to illustrate the merits of their beliefs, a people in service to the principles of order and structure. I have seen what is to come if they succeed. They have to die, don't they? All of them. Even my father. Especially your father. He's the one holding the whole thing together. How did I know that was my father? Was... Wh I... Really? I mean, I guess my mother would have explained that to me, but I thought maybe it wasn't fully explained? So I trained. In running, in climbing, in fighting, in falling. And for every lesson that concerned the body, there were two that concerned the mind. Language, philosophy, logic, the arts. Achilles taught most often of the Assassins and Templars, their structures, origins, and purpose. Centuries of history condensed into a few short days. I told him of the men who had burned my village, of Charles Lee and my promise to him. Achilles explained that Lee and his followers were Templars, and that they were led by none other than my own father. If I was to serve the Order, these men would become my targets. So I worked harder 
learned faster. But for all my progress, it was clear that I still had much to learn. My training had only just begun. Man, so... We're still not even to the part where the game starts. Holy crap! Holy crap! Now, I... I appreciate what they... What they've done in setting up the story. Um... I, I don't know, it's, it kind of felt weird to me that I knew. Maybe it would have been better if, if my mother had mentioned it on screen. I don't know, it just felt a little weird. I hit examine, and then nothing happened. It was like, do you want to examine this? And I was like, yeah. And it was like, no you don't. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, uh, my, you're right, you're right. I apologize profusely. You know best, I will leave. Anyway, it's been six months, condensing a lot of stuff. Oh, look at this! It's cute. Got some guns and stuff around. Big old bed. It's a very, uh, very pretty building. So that was downstairs. Let me just kind of walk around and see what's going on. This, uh, this room's... Not re <laughs> nothing really going on here. Now, earlier this was flashing, but I, I couldn't interact with it. And now it's no longer flashing, so I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm going to go upstairs. Uh, I think they want me to go outside. Um, but I just want to take a quick look around. Looks like this place is in need of finalizing the renovations that seem to be ongoing. But it's quite large. Very spacious. There's a lot of stuff that could go in here. Oh, what's this? That's... it's neat. Okay, back this way. There's some art here and there. Some portraits. Alright, can I just jump over the... no. We don't climb in the house! Also, I'm... unless I haven't been paying attention, I don't believe they've uttered the words Connor, so I don't know when I'm given that moniker. Alright. What was... Okay, hold on. What was that, uh... Nope, 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 nope. Right here. What is this? Oh, it's just the man... That's strange. Okay, so that is the manor. I'm gonna go out here. See my friend! Hey, man! Achilles errand. Let's do this thing. I've liked Achilles. Good morning. To you as well. You taking a trip? I've decided to do something about the house. And you're going to help me. Get it. Alright. <laughs> We're going on a little vacation. If you want to call it that. A little trip. Boston! Don't stare. Sorry. Come on. There's little key kits. This place is incredible. The people, the sounds and smells. I could walk these streets for days and know not even half its wonders. I thought the same as you upon a time. These days, I much prefer the quiet of the countryside. But there is so much life here. So many opportunities. For a few, my boy. For a few. Hmm. So I'm very invest- I'm more invested in Achilles than I am Connor right now. There's a store close to here. You're to buy the items on this list. Tell them where the carriage is, and they'll see that it's loaded. Understood? Yes. Good. You're also going to need a new name. Your skin is fair enough that you might pass for one with uh, Spanish or Italian blood. Better to be thought a Spaniard than a native. And both are better still than I. That is not true. What's true, and what is, aren't always the same. What would you call me, then? Connor. 
Yes, that will be your name. All right, then. Off you go. Hmm. Man, this is cool. This is really cool. The The setting of this game is, is what I feel has really made it thus far. I've liked the story, but um, getting a chance to see all of these different worlds collide um, is really intriguing to me. Excuse me, just making my way over to the general store. Bunch of grapes. What? This bunch of grapes. Is this where I want to be? This is where I want to be. It said the other door, but I can really go in any door. Hey, it's me, Italian Spaniard. Get out of the way. See what we got in here. You lost? I need the items on this list. Will you be paying with coin or trade? Some of these things I have, some I don't. Lumber's hard to come by since my supplier up and vanished. I have the tools and pitch, though. Nails, too. So, uh, where do you want this delivered? Our wagon is near the state house. Hmm. Return to Achilles, who is now dead. I should return to Achilles. Who stands in Parliament for Boston? See, there's also see stamp act. Some people having a conversation. And this is all very interesting to me. One of the one of the things I actually really enjoyed throughout all of the Assassin's Creed titles is hearing wait, what the What the heck is going on? Customs house to toss some quips at the lobsters. <laughs> what? So, so, stuff's going down. Anyway, what, one of the things I was saying is uh, one of the things I like about the Assassin's Creed titles is just walking around and seeing the interactions between the townspeople and hearing about what their problems of the day are. Anyway. What happened? That's what we're going to find out. Follow me. Hmm. The almanac page is lost. There's some people uh, that are um, not not very happy <laughs> right now with the oppression of the British. Good. I'm with you, man. I know it takes you a while to get from place to place. I say again, disperse. Congregating in this manner is forbidden. We're not going anywhere, bug. Oi! Why don't you go back to England? No good can come of this chaos. Return to your homes, and all will be forgiven. Never! Not until you've answered for your crimes! You're right, coward! You don't scare us! We ain't afraid! There. Is that my father? Yes, which means trouble is sure to follow. I need you to tail his accomplice. This crowd is a powder kick. We can't allow him to light the fuse. But... But nothing. Do as I say and go. Come on, you gosh-gutted coward. It doesn't shoot at me. Hey, lobster! It ahead. looks like, at least I'm crossing my fingers real hard, that Achilles will stick around for a while, which I'm excited about just because I really like him. Um, I, I feel often drawn to those sorts of characters in games that are like the, the, the wise old sage who's going to pass on knowledge. Um, and uh, this is the same situation. Yeah, I'm not really hidden. I'm just going to chill right here. You guys don't go anywhere so I can be a part of your group. All right. Ugh! Start moving again. It's so interesting that you don't have to be within lines, uh, line of sight with the guy. You just have the camera has to see him, which is so bizarre. But whatever. There we go. Yeah, that's my head. 
going up a ladder. It's a little peculiar. If you're going up a ladder, so am I, bud. Where are you going? Careful. <laughs> oh my god, where are we? What the heck? What is the what is even happening right now? Assassinate the shooter. Gotcha! Ugh! Not today, buddy. Your plot is ended. Not quite. No, oh, damn you! Fire! Wow. I can't see! <laughs> Kill him, he's my son, I don't like him. Now does Haytham know I'm his son? Probably not. Probably not. Escape the zone and become anonymous. Uh, alternatively, also don't get shot. Jump, you idiot. You're gonna be fine. We've already learned that you don't really take much damage. There we go. Escape with the time given. I don't think it's gonna take me that long, is it? Become anonymous. Okay, well, things are going pretty good. Let's see. Am I not going to become anonymous up here? Like, oh no, they're still following me. Okay, so I should probably, I should probably find a um, a hay bale or equivalent be my guess. So you're pissed at me too, right? Yeah, everybody pissed at me. Alright, that's fine. I can run faster than you guys. Shoot, I ain't gonna get that optional objective though. I need to find a spot to chill. Oh, right there. Fort Hill discovered. They didn't see me come in here. Man, and it's going to happen in just like a second, too, so I barely missed it. I need to find Achilles. Yeah! No crap! Newspaper unlocked. Oh, good. Good old newspaper. Mission complete. Yeah, I couldn't get the optional, but I tried. You are notorious. The guards will recognize you and attack you on sight using... Use blending and hiding to You're avoid patrols. You're now? I'm here to help. Who are you? Well, just a messenger. Mr. Adams wants a word. What? Why? Well, you'll need to ask him that yourself. He'll meet you tonight near Faneuil Hall. I suggest laying low to win. Thanks. Go away now. Came out of nowhere. Um, dang, man. This is not great. Holy crap. The entire town <laughs> wants to kill me. That's not... That's not how I wanted it to go down. Uh, set marker. Fort. Templars. Oh. Good. And we also have main mission. Good. Uh, you know what I think I'm going to do, actually? Uh, to end off this episode, I think I'm actually going to come out of the Animus. Because uh, we, we completed the sequence. We had some emails. Um, that seems like a really good idea. So vision of uh, first civilization... First civilization woman is spurred, Connor, to leave his village. He searches for a way to protect it. That was sequence five. So let's uh, exit back into Desmond world. See if we have anything new, shall we? You really think we'll finally get some answers down here? Maybe. Talking to the first Civ has always been a pain in the ass, though. What is happening? Imagine what it must be like for them. What do you mean? Okay. They've been separated. Oh, that, finally, I got I got free of it. No, I want to interact. I don't want to hear the thing I've heard a million times. Received messages. Uh, bump, bada lump, bada lump, bada lump, bada lump. Ugh. Sean is really getting on my nerves. You'd think with everything that's going on, the guy would stop being such a douche. Maybe he thinks it's funny. Or maybe it's part of his snarky British charm. Or maybe it's how he deals with the stress. Whatever it is, it's getting old real fast. We've got enough to worry about, you know? End of the world and everything. You'd think he'd show a little restraint and maturity or something. <sighs> Sorry. Not like you need to hear me venting. You've got enough on your plate. Please don't say anything to him, though. 
In case you haven't noticed, we're near, we're we're knee deep in the shit here. I understand this might not be your idea of a good time. It isn't anyone's idea of a good time. Picking fights isn't going to get our work finished any faster, so I suggest you stick to the mission. The sooner we're through the door, the sooner we can get back to our lives, or in your case, the lack of one. Dad. Jesus. William's not the most diplomatic man, I'll give you that, but he cares about you very much. When you were under, during that whole bit with 16, he never left your side. He even slept in the same room when we put down for when we put down for the night. Anyway, don't mean to be a busybody. Just didn't want you to stay sore with him. Not too sore, anyway. The man means well, even if he's got an odd way of showing it. Just a quick heads up that I've pushed in a new batch of entries focused on the tribe of people. In order to ensure accuracy, I actually turned to a friend on the outside. Don't worry, he thinks it's for a presentation, so we're in no danger of being discovered. You'll find a new section under the database labeled Surprise, Surprise, the people. It has information on their political and social structures, as well as some notes about their material culture. Connor's Piece of Eden. Uh, interesting. The sphere used by Connor during his spirit journey is clearly first civilization in origin. It appears to function as some sort of temporal calculator. It's essentially a crystal ball, but one that actually works. This can't be coincidental, which begs the question, are there others out there? What? Je Jeff, uh, Jeff, J Joe. <laughs> It works. I should hardly be surprised. Electrical impulses move from one pathway to another. You call them networks. Our word for them was more akin to road. It is yet difficult to project a thought from one medium to another, and yet it works, it works, it works, it works. So it looks like we're being contacted maybe by uh, them? By the, the, the spirit beings? Not entirely sure. A Either different language and oh god, no, stop talking about the... No, no. Uh, one thing I also thought would be interesting... Um, but, but, well, can I only do it from, as much as they have. it's very strange, I can only do it from inside the thing. How about you? Stop wasting time. Good to know, good to know. You don't want to talk, I totally understand. Uh, and I'll double check with, uh, with Sean also, even though it looks like no one has anything new to add, but I wanted to check. Honest answer, please, Desmond. Do you think we're getting out of this alive? I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty tall order. If the first Civ couldn't save the world, how the hell are we supposed to swing it? We have some time. We have less than two months. They had decades and a lot more resources. And the worst part is we knew this was coming for, what, hundreds of years? History repeats, it seems. The first Civ was so busy with their war against us, no one even noticed what was happening. We get advance warning and then fall to fighting with the Templars. Lovely. Hopefully, whatever's behind that door will make a difference. And if it doesn't? Well, at least we tried. Why don't I have... Why don't I have pupils? My eyes are just completely black, and I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, I'm gonna end this off completely by getting back in here, because I can't... Very strangely, it won't let you access any of that extra information. I need to find Achilles. Unless you're in here. Then you press back... You can view the log book. Um, hunting side, forts, collectibles, underground. Um, see, I was I was very interesting in, in learning just a little bit more about that. If I press start, Animus database. Yeah, here we go. Recent entries. So we've got things on the Boston Massacre. Oh, God. I know some of you are actually really into reading that sort of thing, so I'm just going to kind of go down this that you can pause the video and uh, check it out if you are interested in it. I was interested in learning more about the um, the tribe um, because I, I feel like that sort of information could be potentially helpful to understanding a little bit about what their, um, what their goals and things of that nature are. Um, the people, uh, groups, Okay. So these are these aren't the the people that I'm looking for though. These were some of the people that got added whenever we had their help. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Updated. Living on the frontier lands. So there's a lot of information here. Where's the Where's the info about the people? Oh, here it is. Here it is. 
There's an entire section. That's what I wanted to know. This is what I thought would be interesting. Um, chief, clan mother, clan system, ba 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 ba. Other nations, etc. The economy. Um, I, the clan mother is of particular interest to me. Uh, generally translated to clan mother. Clan mother is a female leader of her clan family. Aside from her social and spiritual roles, a clan mother is politically responsible for selecting a chief who would represent her clan family. She watches for potential candidates from the time these men were boys, looking for the special qualities and merit needed for this position of leadership, grooming them along the way. It's been said that Hadnasani uh, leaders are not born, they're cultivated. A clan mother is installed for life and is only released on account of merit, sickness, or death. Hmm. And then the chiefs. Uh, each chief is named after one of the original founders of the League when it was established. These leaders represent their clan and nation at the uh, Hodnasi... Is that my, am I saying that right? Hodnosani Hodnosani Grand Council. The chiefs are uh, also serve as leadership within their respective nation. Each chief is installed by a clan mother, which we knew, who uses specific criteria to ensure they're qualified. And a chief is also installed for life. Uh, Kyugan Nation, people of the swamp... Uh, do 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 clan mother, clan system. Uh, uh, ma matrilineal society, transferring identity through the mother's lineage. Extended family is called a clan. Uh, they have three clans, turtle clan, wolf clan, and bear clan. Oh, so we didn't know that. Uh, family names and clans are passed down from mother to child. Each member of a clan is considered a relative, regardless of which, uh, Hodn Hodnosani nation they belong to. For example... A wolf clan member of the nation and a wolf clan member of the Seneca nation are still considered relatives. Likewise, the men and women of the nation practiced uh, exogamy, marrying outside their matrilineal uh, clan family. And then clans have specific roles. Do, 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 do. Huh. So this sort of thing is interesting to me. Um, I'm not going to be going over every single little detail, obviously, um, but I, I think it helps flesh out you know, the purpose and the reasoning behind some of the, the choices made. Uh, let's see. There's also the economy. Primary economy was horticulture, cultivating what the uh, Haudenosaunee call the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. Okay. It says, when George Washington wanted to neutralize the Haudenosaunee co Confederacy during the American Revolution, he ordered General Sullivan to destroy every Haudenosaunee village, specifically targeting their cornfields. Huh, an act that earned Washington and succeeding presidents town destroyer. Alright, and then uh, material culture. The tomahawk. Traditionally, the blade of the Iroquois uh, hatchet was with flint stone. However, with the introduction of metal into Iroquois in society, the hatchet became much more efficient and deadly. In the colonial era, hatchet molds were affixed with a pipe for smoking. <laughs> How convenient. Uh, wampum. Made with seashells found along the thing. Wampos are used among native people. Wampos made with da 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 da. Okay, uh, it'd be used uh, to commemorate treaties, laws, other important events. And, uh, I don't know, longhouses to finish this off. The time before European contact, up until the early 1800s, longhouses originally served as the living quarters. Between 40 and 200 feet long. Hmm. Mohawk served as the keeper of the eastern door. Seneca is the keeper of the western door. Centrally placed Onondagas uh, served as the fire keepers. All right, so there's a, a good bit of information here. Once again, not going to go over everything, but seeing some of that helps. Um, it certainly helps and explains a little extra information. That is going to be it for today. Yeah, Thank you so much for watching. I'm here to help. Who are you? Well, just a messenger. Mr. Adams wants a word. Yeah, we had a... What? Why? We had well, a talk. You need to ask him that yourself. He'll meet you tonight near Faneuil Hall. I suggest laying low to him. There's a part of me that really wanted to just punch him, but I decided not to. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Assassin's Creed 3.